Good morning. It's been a while. So today is day zero. Minus one. We are finally doing that thing we've been boring you with uh, for a long time. We're doing the Mali Rally. How do you feel? <sighs> that was fucking scary. Are we ready? We're packed. Yeah. We're excited. Um, well, we're as ready as we can be. Well, yeah, no, it's too late to think about that. <laughs> Welcome to the start line of the Great Mali Rally 2024. <laughs> countries of bikers represented. So we have 100 riders, 1,500 miles. It's the southern tip of um, the island. It's all the little points you get where the earth and tectonic plates meet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for making it to the start line. Um, we'll get stuck into the meat of the Pagani and Michael Pop the riders briefing. But I look forward to riding the entire of this island with each one of you over the next six rally stages. Let's go and get fed. Right now. Yes. Yeah. What happened? Well, we're, is it the Hard Knocks Pass? Or I'm just calling it Hard Knock Pass. I think you're calling it that. <laughs> it's not yeah. quite that. Switch back in the, in the rows, but it was like super steep. And right at the top, I watched you go down and I saw how sharp the bend was, how steep it was. My mind freaked took a breath, stopped for a good, good few minutes, let others pass me, and then I did it. I did it and it was fine, but I was feeling really shaky from being scared, and then um, right at the bottom, stopped and put my stand down, but not properly. <laughs> so just after taking my gloves off, um, I went to get off the bike and the bike dropped with me still half on it. So I clattered onto the ground and hurt my wrist a bit, hit my hip and my knee, smacked my head. Luckily I still had uh, the helmet on, um, so I'm not hurt, pride's a bit injured. That's apparently the toughest piece of the day. Yeah. And I did it. You did it, exactly. I did it. <laughs> I just didn't do the bit where I just stabbed my bike. <laughs> So, well, cheers. Mm. Ah. So it's Monday. You're having drinks. <laughs> we did it. We did it. What did we do? We completed the longest motorbike rally in the UK. I think so, yeah. Well, yeah. Mali Rally 2024. Overall, in the last nine days, we did over 2,000 miles riding our bikes. There's been some ups, there have been some downs, there's been some gorgeous scenery, there's been some hardship. So we went through it and we're done. It feels surreal now. It, it feels like we were gone months and minutes all at once and I'm I'm still trying to process it. We saw so much amazing scenery. We pushed ourselves to the limits. We met some great people. We had a great time. Yeah. And yeah. it's all so much is it every day. Every day we said every day felt like three days. Yeah, every like, day, like each checkpoint was. We like would have so every day, day we had the sort of the end destination for the day. So where camp was that mm -hmm. night, and then how many checkpoints? Like three checkpoints Two, along the way. Yeah, three to four checkpoints in there. And I felt like every checkpoint within a day was a whole day. Yeah. But probably because previous to the rally, that's probably like the longest length we'd we'd ever. Mm. 
ridden at a time and every checkpoint was a different adventure there was something happened or like the scenery was different there was it's just so much to take in and so much to yeah it's gonna take us a process. while to process all of it we need to watch all the f footage we shot uh i'm so glad we videoed because i need i'm really looking forward to looking back and seeing all of those the roads and the scenery yeah and remember oh yes we went there or we went there oh that was hard or that was easy or that was great or that was rubbish uh none of it was rubbish by the way the only <laughs> like two rubbish parts was bridgewater was really shit we went through bridgewater uh, which at the best of times it was it's not great bullshit. but it yeah, was so it was much really bad. traffic really. and then like people told us about halifax i felt like it wasn't as bad really it's just going through a long town and this sometimes and we go. had to get through some places just to get to the to next get, amazing get the next way now. amazing road yeah i mean what a trip i don't know I, yeah, I think we we would definitely recommend like if you want to discover some of the best roads in the, most of the best roads in the UK that you want to be on an adventure on your bike and really push yourselves technically and like physically and mentally we'll great meeting great people yeah and be with people be part then, of a team and just... then yeah then consider consider looking at some of the events that the Mali team is organizing uh, you know, it's the seventh year, so they're still young uh, in the way they do things, and there's a lot of great stuff already from uh, from the production team. Uh, and we'll we'll unroll. Okay, I think we'll unwrap a lot of it like through mini episodes. So subscribe if you want to kind of find out a little bit what we're going to share. But like, I think we're going to break it down into some of the best roads, uh, some of the regions in the UK, our experience with the rally itself, and then eventually. I'm still keen to see if I have enough footage to do something nice with it and kind of some kind of mini film. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, for me it was the same as you. I think it was harder than I thought it was, and I prepped for it. I think it was, I think I was right to be nervous. It was hard. Yeah, it, it's not easy. So you're gonna you know push your limits. It's literally we saw like oh seven eight hours in the saddle. That is really, if you go really fast, most days you're going to spend 10 hours in a saddle. Um, and it, I have to say though, it didn't feel like that. I mean, my body... Well, some, every day, like the last hour, everybody aching. was aching. Yeah. yeah. Like, bums aching, arms aching. And we said aching. many times, but thank it was so goodness good. we trained. Like, we did yeah, yeah, practice, yeah. we did prepare. We were, we planned the gear we were going to take and... <laughs> Had it not been for you, like, I would have just showed up on the day, yeah. showed up, no preparation, oh, and that would have been such a mistake. Instead, been going to the gym. I've been going to the gym. I've been actually pushing some weights to build my strength, and we've been doing all those miles before, yeah. practicing on the bike. Thank God we've done all those miles before. Yeah, I, thought, I think we would have given up even before getting there. We just yeah, like... <laughs> getting there, we did it over two days, yeah, and, was, and that was hard. Like two full days, right? yeah, already, like seven hours each day. And, and that was nothing. Yeah, and it was peanuts. Jesus. Now, like, we tell us, you need to go somewhere that's like, 200 miles away. We're like, okay, we got this. Like, 300 miles, Other we know it's going to be yeah. hard, but like 200, like a piece of cake. So anyway, so that was... That was fantastic. So again, if you if you're considering these kind of things, um, yeah, prep obviously, research, um, because it's it's not easy. But at the same time, the rewards are fantastic. But what uh, we've also learned is what well, uh, what I've learned is you don't have to leave the UK to find magnificent scenery, landscapes like epic. Yeah. I had to, I've really explored the UK and I'm quite regretful now that I haven't because it's amazing and I can't wait. Well, I feel like we mo we've well, seen well, most well, of the nice things yeah, now but but we want to go back and we want to spend more time because yes. it's amazing roads. I wouldn't say we were the luckiest with weather, were we? I think we it was fine. We tested we had, our rain gear we like had two horrible days horrible horrible days where like the weather was really against us but when every day feels like three that was a good week. yeah it, it, felt, it felt really bad during those days and uh, 
I have a score to settle with the uh, Apple Cross Pass, so definitely we need to go back there, you and I, yeah. and, and do that. Apple Cross. Apple Cross, yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we need to get back. We need to get uh, back there redo, and settle that score. Have a redo. But yeah, the weather was it was fine, but it was not June weather. So it was the, the opposite of June we weather was, for camping. Yeah. <laughs> the warmest we were, I think, was 15, 16 degrees. The nights were cold. Uh, yeah. And it was humid. The nights were short too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to bed Compared late. Compared to the like. And you wake up early. The uh, length of the days, yeah. But. But it was all part of it. We all did that together, and and the other thing to say is we were put in teams randomly. Well, with some thought, there was thought and planning, but we were put in a team with two brothers, also French. So I was the Louis, um, we know. the odd one out and. Obviously, I'm biased, but I think we had the best team. The team was amazing. We the guys were stuck together. Jailed, yeah, very quickly. We it had a great after the first day of just figuring stuff out. We got into this lovely rhythm. A good rhythm, really good uh, camaraderie, good friendship, uh, extreme and solidarity. For each other. Yeah, and exactly. that was part of what Robert um, from Mali London said right at the beginning was like, it's about the journey we go on together. It's not about speed. It's not about winning. Um, and it's about not leaving a man behind and being, being yeah. a team and I think our team was the epitome of that. Absolutely, I think we, from, from that standpoint, I think we were the best team. And we had, uh, we and had a, you know, a kick up in the middle, which yeah. maybe we'll talk about another time, but then, you know, the, the, two, the team two was guys, even stronger there. Like, yeah. we, we started together, we finished together and it meant a lot. It was, yeah, uh, yeah, those guys were great, and like to the point that now we're planning to see them again and go riding in France with them. Uh, well, now it feels like we can future, like, uh, do anything, really. Family, aren't we, guys? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so yeah. that's the that was for, for me like one of the greatest things. We met like other people along the way. Uh, I mentioned Andreas, who's the guy who met, oh, who so we met cool. like on the way to the rally. He saw our bag at the back of our bikes and stopped. And we had a quick word. Uh, he was going to the rally too. We rode together a little bit and then we went and he came all ways. the way from Germany, didn't he? He rode all the way from well, Germany. To get to the start line, he already went He from rode, yeah, from Germany. Dusseldorf all the way to where we were. And then he did the entire rally. He was super cool, super so chill. Super cool guy, uh, rode a fantastic Indian. Uh, oh, yeah. FTR 1200. And then so great guy we met before. We met Jed at the dinner. Uh, yeah. the week before and it was fantastic and we kind of st stuck with him a little bit and he stuck with us he joined our team a few times as a, <laughs> a guest appearance um, during the rally the but yeah and then the, the marshals uh, all the, the organization and everything else special mention for Ben for me uh, who was really really good he kind of had a couple of talks about mental health uh, and he, he hit a few chords and he was just very good at paying attention to people's kind of well-being uh so shout out to ben and thank you for that um and yeah amazing and, team well we tested the the medic a little yeah. bit i did um so yeah thank you to ross for taking care of me when i needed that and he was you know giving out hugs whenever anyone needed it anyway yeah. and you know well like spike Spike, oh, Literally. how can we forget Spike? Like, I remember member of our team as well, uh, carried us uh, a couple of stages, um, and Leroy, Leroy like the, yeah. the mechanic, like, no, the whole crew was fantastic, so, um, yeah, we, all this to say that we had a fantastic experience, we are absolutely freaking shattered. Uh, and we are in a London hotel recovering before we can pick up our bikes uh, tomorrow from yeah. our, from the Riley team. Uh, but uh, six months, it, it's weird because for six months we've been prepping about this every and now week. What? Now what? And now we're like, oh, what do we do next? So we need well, to think about we'll our next adventure. Keep talking about how epic it was, and epic was the word. Of yeah, the week. like I literally Scenery, said people, the people, experience. Word epic, hundreds of times a day. I drove you crazy asking, all the like, are you videoing this, are you videoing this, are you, are you recording, are you recording, because every turn, every corner we turned was another great scene, yeah. and like, 
epic, magnificent, spectacular. All of like all of those. Yeah,、days. even like in the and when it was moody weather, even days, it was like, like when the weather was horrid and we were struggling.、Cool. Like admittedly, you remove all the rain and the scenery was magical. It was harder to appreciate it then because well, you the, were just we too found, much concentrating on raining. Rain, you know, it was it was harder. Raining is we, draining. Yeah,、uh, and、uh, we had to focus that much harder, and、um, but we're better for it now. We're more experienced. I think, like, oh, we, we said that after、so、many like, miles. The second day, I already felt like, you know, I was cornering better than ever. We, I was、oh. confident. Like, we can ride in like tight groups as well now. Like, we 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 ride with our friends in London. It's always all over the place. Now we've been reading like four of us. Uh, our theme tune, you're gonna hear it a lot, is Chips. If you don't know what it is, look it up.、Uh, but essentially, the amount of time we rode in tight groups, like even going through corners together and everything else, and it, was, it,、cool. it was really fun.、Uh, that was like my that was a good weirdly one of my one of my highlights, which is ridiculous considering the like the scenes that we were riding through, was leaving a garage just a. Petrol garage on one of the many many fuel stops along the way, and the way we rode out together, like a scene from Trip, I was like, that's it, that just made the trip. And、um, yeah, Nico in my ear, singing the yeah, the, the, the theme tune, and everything. It was, it was perfect. It was perfect. I mean, it's moments like that, and like oh, we forgot somebody chips, as well. Fish and chips lunch with the team. That's a highlight for me. We forgot so,、yeah. Max as well. Max,、uh, yeah. Max,、oh. thank you. You got some great shots of us. So he was the team photographer.、Uh, if you don't know who he is, look him up. We'll put a link to his Instagram、um, in under the video. The mad. He took some incredible mad, pictures, mad and you'll have some shots of how he did that. Like great skills, obviously with a camera, but like crazy skills with a motorbike、yeah. where you can make both <laughs> of them and take those shots. Insane. <laughs> so. Please、Thank、never you, try、yeah. that. Well, no, I think no. I will invite Max on a ride, and I say, hey, come ride with us and take your camera. But no, yeah. So I want to shout that out because that was good. And yeah. And like, one of the loveliest people we met this week. So many lovely people we met this week. So many.、Yeah. And、uh, it was easier for everyone else to remember my name because I was one of four females among a group of a hundred and something. So I'm sorry that I didn't remember everybody's names, but I chatted to people. People, everyone asked after me, like looked out for me. I felt、yeah. like so much love from this group of people, strangers.、Um, you know, again, Robert said at the beginning, at the end, it's like coming together of like-minded people, and that's like on an adventure, and it's such an adventure. So, look it up, Mary London. Uh, they have tons of events. We there's a Mali Mal coming up in a few weeks in July,、uh, and then there is the Mountain Rally、uh, that's in September. And this one looks crazy good. And、uh, maybe you know next year if we feel like it, we could、uh, be tempted. We'll see.、Uh, and then also there's a new event called the Canyon Rally, I think, or the Mali Canyon.、Uh, that's in October in、uh, Portugal. Uh, and we are seriously considering、yeah. going there. Well, just, we need we need something. Yeah, like, we've already talking about. Well, we've talked about several, well, many potential next trips because yeah, so it doesn't have, have to be all Malay. But this one looks fun just because it's an excuse for us to go to a country we love that is Portugal and spend a few days over there just to spectate. Probably not racing on dirt yet. But there's that, and、uh, so look them up. If you're looking for an adventure, there will be one of the companies we we recommend you look up.、Um, and、um, and yeah,、uh, we're going to be sharing a lot of content about this. I know we already kind of bored you about our preparation, but、uh, now it's all about like sharing the experience and hopefully, you know, convincing some of you to、um, jump the gun and、um, sign up to it in the future. And、uh, experience it firsthand. So yeah, I think that's a good kind of. There's gonna be more talking heads about this. I think we're just recording our our feelings right now, like、uh, as they're still very quite, un- constructed and confusing. I feel quite emotional when I think、yeah. about it because so much preparation and thought, and then it was so incredible. There were highs and lows. 
I'm, and uh, probably because of those lows, that's why I feel so emotional and proud of myself. Like, I'm really proud of us. Well, I know, I'm proud of you and proud of us too, yeah. Crossing that finishing line was a lot, wasn't it? Uh, but we did it. And, uh... Yeah, and then that nobody can take out of And the bikes did us. good. We lost a, a clutch lever. <laughs> clutch lever, yeah. Making fun of me for preparation and forcing Vic to kind of... Yeah, you know, Nick, drag Nick's along proudest the moment clutch was lever. the moment my clutch... My proudest moment was us finishing. Well, yeah. But the clutch lever flew off, didn't hit you, thankfully, because yeah. you were behind me. And then it was like, no bother, we've got spares in the bag. And because of you, we had the spares. And because of you... They were with us <laughs> when yeah. we needed it. Yeah, and then minutes, just everything was sorted. quick we're stop by road, a yeah. temporary traffic light and uh, all done, get back on the road. Exactly, exactly. No, the bikes were perfect. Uh, oh, I love my bike. I love my bike too. Like, she was loud, she was roaming free. Yeah. Uh, and I managed to kind of keep up with the big boys. Uh, I'm very proud of myself for that. So, doesn't, it just goes to show you don't need a big bike. You know, to be able to go on those adventures, minus 40 horse, 47 horsepower, but it's more than capable. You had people on even smaller bikes than that, on older bikes. Uh, and I didn't have the classic style. No, and, and I felt like I was going to be the odd one out, and I was. Everybody was like but frowning when you said what you had, and then yeah, like everyone's like, oh, those cool. who rode the bike, like Spike, were like. Oh shit! It's a really, it's good, a really bike. good bike. It's a lot of fun. And I got lots of comments on my custom seat, so thank you. you. Oh, every time Biking. I'm trying to split that yeah. in. Yeah. Well, it's true though. Not like my bum was super comfortable. Oh, yes, we didn't complain once, yeah. Tested it. There was no complaints. Ten hours my a day, rear end, seven and days or nine days in a row. Yeah. Plenty of people commented on how nice it looked. So. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want to find out more. I guess uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Subscribe because you're gonna see a lot more notification about this. You can see your face. Well, no, I think that's time to wrap it up. That's fine. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot. This is one of my five famous five minute goodbyes that you're gonna be criticizing again. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a few drinks now. We're gonna celebrate, and then and tomorrow and we're then back sleep. to work. Yeah. We're gonna sleep so well. Ooh, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.